Yo, Lord willing, Jeff Canarsie, My Talk Radio, check it out. Yo, we stay quiet, like Russell Buffalino, when things will get ugly like Pessy's death in Casino. Who do we know? No one, nobody. But we're all well respected like Della Croce and Gotti. I know wild nights, Havana not turn. Light up a cigar and watch your spot burn. You'll get patty whacked, I'm tough like Irish dock workers. Run with guys, with guys, hooligans and black lurkers. Corner berserkers, street savvy soldiers. You owe, you better pay. Don't make me say I told you. Code you don't betray, I say what I mean. Providence in Brooklyn all the way to the bean. I'd rather be unseen like Benny the Chin. I don't gotta go to Vegas to see cities of sin. Pull the pin, drop bombs like Danny Green I write homicide like the murder machine Lansky, Luciano, mastermind the racket Up in the clam house with a million in my jacket Move around when the streets get darker Pay homage to real bosses like Gambino and Patriarcha Mob talking, but you don't talk to the mob Lord Will and Jeff Canarsie, we stay on our job This is Mob Talk, straight from the streets Mob Talk, the life of a beast Lord Will and Jeff Canarsie, bringing you the rail Kill all rats you already know the deal. This is mob talk. Straight from the streets. Mob talk. The life of a beast. Lord Will and Jeff Canarsi bringing you the real. Kill all rats. You already know the deal. You're a good debater and you're not afraid of a fight. So why have your comments up? Just out of curiosity. Well, I've turned them on for a lot of things. I mean, your shorts you do. Right, and some of my lives, I think they're on, but almost as soon as I turn them on, there's photos of oh, my sense. family's homes, okay. what's the address, yeah. and at what point, and, that, and yeah. then, and I just want to clarify, yeah, please. I don't have to take that abuse. Agreed. Like, I don't come to work and slap the dick out of their mouth. Give <laughs> me kind of why do you have a disdain for informants, in your opinion. I don't disdain them, I downright fucking hate them. That's okay. That's okay. But see, this is why I can say it. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, that guy yeah, just yeah, crazy. He's yeah. on medication. Mm. I have a disdain for them because no man should ever go to prison on the words of another man, number yeah. one. Number two, in 90% of the cases you look at, the informant has done more vile and disturbing crap than those that are being accused. Uh, number three, I find it oxymoronic when a, uh, a man, Joey Merlino, because yeah. everybody knows who he is. Yeah goes in front of the judge, they can bring up everything he's ever been accused of, including murders and whatever else. Even though he's acquitted, it yeah. doesn't really matter because it's a character judgment. But yet in that same case, you can't turn that around and say, well, let's judge the rat. Judges don't allow that. Mm. So for me, it's like you're walking in, you're already behind the, the, the eight And now it's time for Mob Talk Radio with your host, Jeff Canarsi. And good Friday afternoon to everybody. By the way, the podcast just dropped over on mobtalkradio.supercast.com. If you want to listen to the history of the Detroit Mafia, that is where you should go today. Uh, it's $10 a month, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Sunday night, uh, 8.15, we should be doing another live here on YouTube. Uh, so what brings me here today? Uh, really the reason what brings me here today, uh, is something that I, I sort of thought about talking about, uh, and it's something that I didn't want to talk about. Uh, and as you can see on the screen, uh, Radzit, excuse me, Radzis reaches new low. Uh, we'll interview the lowest of the low, a man of God, more like a man who worships rats and money. Hugs and kisses for rats and friends. Where are your morals? Uh, and this is not a bash video. It, it is what it is. Uh, and I'm not doing this for any other reason than trying to appeal 
to Michael Francis. Not that my title is going to get any attention from the positive. You understand what I'm saying? But my appeal is for Francis not to interview Gene Barello. I'm going to be straight up with you. I have my own personal reasons for this, as do a lot of other people, because of things that Gene has done. Uh, I can separate what my personal beef with this prick is versus the reality of some things. But as you all know, I really don't care for Michael at all. Uh, and I'm going to put that aside for just a second. Uh, and I'm going to put a few things aside just for a couple of minutes, but I'm going to come back to those in the end. Trust me. But the reality is, is Michael Francis has no balls, no scruples, and no morals. From what I understand, and whether or not this truly happens, we'll see. But Michael Francis has invited Gene Barello because Gene badgered him allegedly for months to have him on the show because Michael can somehow make Gene Barello, who is never you know, relevant, relevant all of a sudden to every rat's dream to be on another rat's show. And that's the truth. Whether or not this ever happens, who knows? I don't really care. But you are set to interview the biggest lowlife I have ever seen in my life. This is a scumbag who literally has been accused uh, multiple times of beating women. This is a guy who broke into homes and tied up an old woman and stole her wedding rings. And this is a guy you're going to put on your show. Congratulations, Michael. You have really made something of yourself. You profess to be some sort of guy with some sort of integrity and honor, a God-fearing man. But you have no problem talking to somebody who in all categories is a lowlife. This is a person who repeatedly called other people, including myself, a pedophile. This is somebody who made fun of a deceased child. And don't sit there and say you're unaware of all of this because you know all of it, but you don't care. This is a guy who's repeatedly threatened to beat and murder and hospitalize people's parents because they don't like that he won't do something for them. Just recently, this prick you're going to put on your show threatened to murder a woman, the same woman. And there's multiple legal paperwork you can look at yourself, Michael, where he is accused of beating her senseless nonstop. And you guys can all play the, the little fucking narrative that you want by saying, well, you know, I wasn't there. You don't know what she did. It doesn't matter. I don't care if she set his balls on fire. No man has the right to put his hands on a woman. But you guys don't mind platforming that. So don't try to play like you stand up now. Because you guys all knew this from the very beginning. He has consistently been arrested, put back in prison because he's a mental case. Because he cannot control himself. Let me guess, you're going to anoint him with Christ's wine. Is that what you're going to do now, Michael? In the name of Jesus, let's do an exorcism with my bullshit wine that nobody buys. And you have a lot of subs. So you carry weight. You carry weight. As much as that makes me want to puke all over myself, you do carry weight. But the mere fact that you would do that and do this shows me and anybody who is in the mob genre that you're not a man of God, but a man of money with zero scruples, zero morals, and you're out to attract whatever fame and money and face time you can fucking get. And at what point as a man do you find any of that behavior redeeming? How is any of that acceptable? You consistently talk about your father, Sonny, who was, as far as I'm concerned, a man's man. Stand up. How would he have handled somebody in the neighborhood like Gene back in the day? Would he condone this on any level? And while you're not your father, I, I totally get it. But as a man, I expected a little bit different from you, but it shouldn't surprise me. Because you're still the same guy that can't admit to what he did. And it only proves what I've said about you all along. And while people have the right to interview whoever they want. Because everybody has a right to talk to who they want. I am not the moral authority of anything. But this makes you a low life. And it makes you the low life I always knew you were. I wonder how your Christian donators 
would feel if they knew you platformed that you're going to platform a guy who's beat women, who's stolen from women, purse snatcher, who broke into homes, who continues to threaten to murder people, continues to threaten to beat people up. Who the fuck are you? Like, seriously, who the fuck are you, Michael? But I'll tell you who you are. You're a low life, too. You're a rat. You're a charlatan. You're a liar. And you're the epitome of fake. You're a cardboard gangster. You always have been. The mere fact that you give a platform to anybody of that sort of ilk is shocking to me. What would have happened if somebody laid hands on your sister, Michael, when you was in your 20s? The big time mob captain. What would you have done? That guy would have been killed. What would your father have done? That guy would have been killed. No, you're just going to platform him and give them an opportunity to spew their bullshit, knowing what he's done. You have no scruples, none, no redeeming qualities. You may have all your followers fooled, but you don't fool me. You never have. And the rest of society that watches this bullshit you're about to do is just going to shake their head. And listen, I know my opinion doesn't matter, and I'm well aware of it. But any redeeming quality that you try to profess now is going to go down the shitter. Because all of these things, you know. You know he's a garbage pail. But you don't seem to care, which really doesn't shock me or anybody else. Because at the end of the day, your hypocrisy speaks volumes. That's right. Introduce the low life to your children. Let him smack one of them around. What are you going to do then, Michael? What are you going to do then? Oh, that wouldn't happen because I would, you wouldn't do shit. You really wouldn't. Because you obviously can't put yourself in the place of somebody else being a father and having that crap happen to their daughter. So don't, don't play that whole, I'm a tough guy shit now. And that's all you are. You're a fake ass charlatan who's built a brand off a of daddy. That's been your entire life story. Daddy's reputation made you who you were. And saved you a thousand times over and over and over again. And as a man, I just got to be honest with you. I find it truly despicable that you have no regard for the things that this creep show has done to people. Not only is your street code a joke. But I don't really think you have a code at all. And based on your testimony and ratting, we already knew that. And I encourage every single one of you who don't agree with him platforming a low life like that to let him know, go to his comments and tell him he'll just delete them because if everybody has to like Michael, this guy has a, a, a Jesus complex and Oedipus complex. Like you wouldn't understand. And we have to, at some point we have to police YouTube a little bit. And I hate using that fucking term, but you have to stop abusers from further victimizing people and making a living off their bullshit lies and crimes. It, it, it's it's got to stop at some point. Michael won't stop because at the end of the day, this is a guy whose entire life has been built on fraud, lies, delusions, and the reputation of actual real men. Stop listening to these types of people because the reality is they don't care about you. You guys all think if a rat says hello to you, ooh, I know a real gangster. They're not real gangsters. They never were. Especially Gene. <laughs> you know what I mean? A raccoon is a better gangster than Gene. Stop listening to all of this nonsense. They don't care about you. All they care about is money. Money, 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 money. And a man who uses God as a crutch and also a weapon is no man at all. That's what Michael does. And anybody who supports somebody who they know has beat on women... Calls men pedophiles the lowest thing you can do? Makes fun of deceased children? You people are low lives too. Because you know it's not right, but you love it. You just love it. You're, li you're low lives as well. And then listen, there are plenty of informants who have not done half of the filth bag shit that Barello has done. Yet, they don't speak out about it. Instead, they band all together and fallitate one another on the couch because those of a feather flock together. And I might just have an ounce of respect for some of you 
If you just said something that ain't right, that's not cool. Where I come from, you get beat down, but you're not going to say anything about it because you're cowards. And those are facts. Even though, even the, even the biggest four informant in life can have a scruple, can have things they believe in that there's just no getting by, but nobody says a fucking word. They all want to hold hands, sing Kumbaya and beat each other off around the fire. You can, you, you know, you can be ashamed of what you did and I, and I get it and you can have your reasons for it. And only, you know, that, but when you continue to stand by somebody like this promoting his bullshit, you're no better. The same resolve you had when you be, decided to become a government cooperator, you ain't got now. And that doesn't surprise me. And I'm not speaking about all of them. I'm just the ones that continue to just keep popping up. So, Michael, uh, do as you see fit, but you're a low life, just like the rest of them, for giving platform to a pile of elephant feces. And it's funny because I bet there was a time years ago, Michael, when you were sitting around a table and mob guys were talking about another guy who put his hands on a woman. And then they went out and found him and chopped his balls off and did what they had to do. What happened to those standards? What happened to that code? How would you feel if somebody put a hand on your daughter like that? How would you feel? What are you going to do? Exercise his demons? Anoint him in the holy blood of Christ with your crappy wine that came from a fucking snake's asshole? Is that what you're going to do? You're going to give him words of wisdom? Is that what you're going to do? You're going to sit him down and try to tutor him? He was a nobody and a nothing. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, he's beneath you. I can't believe you're doing this. But that's you. That's you. You have no scruples. You're pathetic. You're weak. And the mere fact that you would even do this doesn't really surprise me. Nothing you do really surprises me anymore. From your inflated, lie filled stories to your refusal to admit what you are. You know what? I give informants a little credit here. At least they admit who they are. You can't even admit what you are. They at least have said, you know what? I did what I did. I don't give a shit. Okay. They're admitting it. They're not denying it. But you, you're still sitting on your little fucking throne made out of fucking uh, bat skulls professing to be something that you aren't. But go ahead and interview the low life. Go right ahead. Because it's only going to prove what everybody thinks about you anyway. And that's all I have to say about it. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Seriously. So, everybody have a great weekend. We'll see you Sunday, 8.15, YouTube Live. And uh, listen, anybody wants to come on Sunday and debate me on this, I'll drop the link. Because at the end of the day, you got to stand for something. And that's what people need to realize. All of these, all of these window dressings that you people are getting from him are simply that. He wants you to believe he comes from this. He, he, he acts this way. He has some sort of moral ambiguity about life. He doesn't. When are you people going to start to see it for what it is? The shit has been flung on the TV and you just simply wipe it off and continue to watch. And that's fucking sad. See everybody Sunday.